Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to understand a vulnerability which is known as prototype pollution. We are going to learn everything about it, like why it works, like why it happens. Then we are going to see how we can find prototype uh, pollution vulnerabilities. And then we are going to see that uh, what are the measures that we can use to fix it right so uh, before going to this video if you haven't checked out my previous video in which i have shown you that how you can find local file inclusion vulnerabilities on live applications then go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen and if you are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website which is bpractical.tech then you guys are missing a lot of interesting stuff just go and type bpractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to our awesome website right there we have a lot of interesting things for you for example we have account takeover labs that are absolutely free where you can see that uh, how actually the web application the real world scenarios are getting attacked by the attackers by the hackers that how they can find the vulnerabilities that allowed them to take over anyone's account and what are the things that uh, they do basically right what are the things that they do in real world application right though so everything is simulated on these labs so everything is based on real world scenarios so yeah go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description as well and now with that being said let us get started first thing first to understand prototype pollution we need to have a basic knowledge of programming languages or if you have a basic knowledge of javascript then it, it will be very good otherwise i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible right so let's go to our browser to understand why prototype pollution happens what is prototype pollution basically right let's see we have this browser over here let's open the console Control plus shift plus c and here is the console here we can execute the javascript uh, codes right for example if i type console uh, or let's say alert let's say one you'll see that will get an alert right so this is the area where you can execute javascript codes right for example let's try to understand what is object in javascript right so object is a c combination of key and value it is similar to what we have dictionaries in python or what you know as JSON when you are uh, doing uh, maybe you are doing API pen testing or any kind of pen testing you may have come across a JSON type of data right where the data looks something like that which I'm going to show you so let's say I'm going to initialize a variable let's say var user equals to and you may have seen this kind of thing right so there's a username which is a username let's say my name right then there is a password which is uh, let's say uh, admin right and let's hit enter for that right so you all have seen this kind of data right if you use json you have seen that the data which is getting passed in json values are similar to this right we have uh, some values inside this curly braces with there is a key and there is the value right so if i want to access this uh, username what i can do is so since we have saved this a value in this variable user we can just call user dot username and you'll see that it has returned for yes right so this is how we access basically uh, the json data or the object right so this is what you call an object in uh, javascript okay i hope that you have understood it till now now let's take a scenario where we have two objects or uh, you can say uh, two json data right let me show you so see we have let's say var uh, admin equals to we have first of all we have username uh, any username let's say admin we have a uh, password and let's set the password to be uh, anything thing and then let's say we have a value is admin which is set to true okay similarly we have an object of user which is similar to this let me just show you uh, username admin then we have password uh, anything that's it uh, let's change the username to something else so that you don't get confused so we can type let's say uh, batman just for the demonstration okay 
Now we have these two objects in which there is an admin object where we have this extra parameter here is admin set to true, right? So let's assume there is an application which is actually validating which uh, object or which user is the admin, right? By checking this particular value. So if in that object, if there is this is admin key, which is set to true, then it means that that particular user is admin. Like for example, if I want to verify, so I can type admin dot is admin, right? And you see that we have this value true, which means that this user is actually admin, right? Similar to this, if I try to access is admin of this particular object, user dot is admin, you'll see that we are getting undefined, which means that since we know that there is no key present of is admin, right? Which means that there is no such value. Therefore, from this simple logic, we can understand that uh, which of this user are actually admin and which of these are not, right? Now the prototype pollution occurs when the the attacker is basically able to change or modify its prototype value what i mean by that let me just show you by the example so that you can understand it way better so let me show you if i type so currently you see that is admin is not over here right if i type user we can also verify that in this object we have only two keys right username and password and if i type admin we'll see that uh, in this we have three keys right username password and is admin right now what if i do this so please pay close attention to it so what if i type something like this proto dot is admin equals to true okay you see that we have get this value true right now if i type to call user you see that again we have this two uh, key and value right we have nothing else we have added this is admin but it's not there right but let's see what will happen if i try to verify whether this is admin key is present or not if i type user dot is admin see this time we've got this value true right and over here let's see over here earlier we are used to get undefined right so why this happens this is happening because we have added this is admin key into the prototype uh, proto value proto key inside this proto key what i mean by that is so whenever you are doing something in javascript so if there is a key which is not present by default which is not uh, given by the user then what it will do is it will try to see if this particular key is present in this uh, proto variable or not right in this proto variable or not what i can do is let me just show you with example so if i just expand this a bit you'll see we have this prototype over here right let me expand it and you see right over here we have this extra object that we have added inside this prototype uh, key right this is the reason why so first it will try to look by the default uh, set of keys and pair which were given by the user if it is not present over there then it is going to look inside this prototype sometimes in, inside this constructor right you can see here it is is admin set to true right which we have just given over here right so think for a second like what will happen if this proto parameter is controllable by the attacker right so from this example itself you have understood you may have understood right that they can add extra values they can add extra properties into their own uh, user uh, into their own object right so in this case suppose if this kind of similar logic is happening at the back end in some application and if we are somehow able to use this proto parameter then we will be able to log in as an admin right because we have added this extra value over here right i hope that you have understood it so this is what prototype pollution is right so we are basically we are modifying the proto value this is why we are uh, this is why this vulnerability is known as prototype pollution because we are modifying or polluting the value of the predefined prototypes right so if any attacker is able to do this then it will be considered as prototype pollution and it can be a very severe vulnerability from the client side aspect to the server side aspect right where we can see that uh, if this kind of logic was happening we'll be able to like log in using the admin right similar to this if there is something in the client side the main maybe we can use that particular thing to do a bunch of dangerous stuff like maybe escalating it into cross-site scripting and more right i hope that you have understood it that why a uh, prototype pollution actually happens so now let's try to see that how we can find this kind of vulnerability in real world application okay so for that i have set up a lab so let me just show you how we can access the lab let me just access the lab i can just go to proto 
let me just start the lab and we can just start the burp suit over here and let me show you what we are going to abuse in this particular scenario just going to show you the logic of it so that you can understand right let me just go to the console and now for example let's suppose we have an object which i'm going to create right now assume that this object is you know controllable by the attacker where they can add multiple keys and values right you see what will happen is if i type let's say username to by yes uh password to let's say uh, anything right and if i provide something like this underscore proto underscore then there will be a dictionary in which i'm going to add a new property basically so let's say um uh, is admin again and i'm going to set this value to true okay let us hit enter now you see that we have only uh, these three uh, keys and values right now if i try to access this a dot is admin what you'll see is again we are getting true because we have polluted the prototype using this underscore and underscore proto key and value right we have added this extra object or you can say extra key in the prototype right so this is what uh, we are going to abuse right let's see how we can do that so we have this browser over here let me just turn on the burp and let me open burp suit over here let's intercept this uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to just type localhost over here localhost and let's send this to repeater no not this one this one yes send this to repeater let's try to send the get request first uh, we are getting this 304 not modified we just need to get rid of this good uh, let's get rid of most of the things because we don't need them actually let's do this only and over here we see that we have these uh, api endpoints over here let's assume that this is a scenario uh, where we are testing some kind of apis okay so we have these api endpoints over here we have admins we have all we have registered register sorry right let's go to all so let's try to see what will happen if i visit all we see that we have all these users right so these are the users total users available in this particular application and if i type admins we see that there is only this admin present right so there's only one admin but there are currently two users let's try to see how we can register I'm just going to use the post request because I have created this application. I am fully aware that how to send post requests, right? This is just for the demonstration, guys. So I can type application JSON like this, and then I can pass a JSON value, right? So it should be username, uh, let's say, uh, be practical, then password is set to, let's say, uh, superman just for the demonstration part okay let's hit send and here you can see we are redirecting to all let's follow this and as you can see we have this new user got added right but if i go to check uh, admins we'll see that only one user is actually added, which is the admin itself right so our goal is to make this user admin right so you may be thinking that maybe we can use an extra parameter which is covered already in my videos like how to do mass assignment so if i type is admin like this and if i set this value to true you may be thinking that it will allow us to create the uh, uh, the admin user right send this and as you can see this is not an authorized request which means that the application has detected that we are trying to actually pass the parameter which could be dangerous right is admin set to true right which means that they have implemented some kind of uh, uh, some kind of uh, mitigation to fix this issue no worries what will happen like in this uh, example let me just show you over here we saw that this example right like if i am passing a value right like this uh, username equals to uh, by yes let's say some other thing let's say uh batman okay uh let's say password to be any random thing doesn't matter actually right and if i add this proto 
a parameter over here proto key over here and if i set a new value is admin set to true right if this key is not uh, this key is not blocked by the application maybe we'll be able to do something like this right and now if i try to access a dot is admin you'll see that we're getting the value true right so let's test it out so what we can do now is uh, let me just go over here i'm going to add uh proto like this and then i'm going to add uh is admin and again i'm going to set this to true okay that's all we are going to do and if this key is accepted by the application maybe there's a high chance that we'll be able to uh, pollute the prototype of this object let's send this request as you can see it has been redirecting us to all let's visit all uh, we have got two users of be practical right over here let's try to do something else let's say uh, spider-man because we know spider-man is not here i guess so yeah let's follow this uh, here we have the spider-man now let's try to see if this user has been registered as admin or not let's verify it out and now as you can see we've got three users that are now admin right so we have successfully escalated our privilege by polluting the prototype parameters right i hope that you've understood it so this is, this is basically what we need to do in order to uh, look for prototype pollution vulnerabilities right now if you are doing this in normal application chances are that uh, you won't get prototype uh, pollution because they usually implement this kind of fixes right but there's a high possibility that maybe in some kind of uh, application there is some kind of uh, package or plugin which is vulnerable to prototype pollution let me just show you for example we have a uh, uh, we have a uh, package let me just show you which is uh, which was uh, widely used in applications let me show you pollution as you can see let me just show you this one so this was found in august 2020 right so this was also vulnerable to as you can see over here we we are again using this proto parameter right we are using this proto parameter to pollute the prototype right so this is how we can actually uh, find prototype pollution vulnerabilities i hope that you have understood it so again if you see any kind uh, any uh, application using this particular uh, plugin then you can check and verify whether this version is vulnerable to prototype pollution or not and if yes then you can see we have a poc as well right so the main idea is to understand how uh, it works basically right how a prototype what is a prototype first of all they are the set of default properties and if we are able to pass the extra parameters underscore underscore proto or using something like that then we'll be able to modify that default values right or we'll be able to add something else in this default value right so whenever javascript look for something whenever javascript look for some kind of key first it will look in the keys given by the user if that particular value key and value is not present then what it's going to do is it's going to look for those value inside this prototype uh, key right inside all the objects inside this prototype uh, value key right it's not values key okay i hope that you have understood it if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comments section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses the first one is hacking windows with python from scratch wherein you're going to learn that how hackers create their own custom malware that bypasses most of the antivirus in this modern world that can execute system commands and that can do bunch of interesting and dangerous stuffs right like accessing webcams and etc the second course is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers we are going to learn that how we can actually dive deep into the application to find vulnerabilities that can result in taking over anyone's account without the victims or little bit of victims interaction right so these are the two courses which i have created so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out the link of both of these courses are given in the description and with that being said again keep learning keep hacking and thanks for watching